Students at a high school in Caldwell County spent hours making a tribute remembering those who lost their lives on 9-11. And most of these students were not alive when terrorists killed thousands of people in New York City and at the Pentagon. Our Dave Faraday found out how their memorial touched not only classmates, but teachers at the school. Well, if you look behind me, you can see what students and faculty saw when they arrived here at South Caldwell High School this morning. Students here tell me it's important to never forget what happened on 9-11. It took Taylor Austin and other students at South Caldwell High three hours to place 2,977 flags near the entrance of the school. Each one represents a victim of 9-11, something Taylor says she thought of as she pushed each flag into the ground. For me, that number doesn't sound very big, but once you're down on the ground, like putting each one of them in, you actually realize how many actually died that day. Austin, who did the memorial with family and members of the Young Americans for Freedom Club, wasn't alive when 9-11 happened. She hopes the memorial reminds her classmates what happened that day and the impact on our nation. Assistant Principal Ken Robbins served in the military and was proud of the students' work. When I drove into the parking lot, I looked and saw this. This was breathtaking for one. And it's just uh, remarkable for me that what the students put together to show that they really care. And school leaders hope that the memorial will encourage students to think about their past and how things in the past affect them and others today. Reporting from Caldwell County, I'm Dave Faraday, Channel 9 Eyewitness News.